So I've been thinking lately, okay, about the M that's right here and the M that's right there. Okay? This is what I'm talking about. When you're looking at this half, okay, you know, we've already kind of covered it, but let's look at this half. Now, I distinctly see like an M, but it's missing the downstroke. And if you go down the one, two, three, to this point, that's your I.O. That's the center of the matrix. Okay, it's 76. So, if you go from the center of the matrix down to the where the M is, you're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. It's this whole 3, 4 conundrum, okay, that we are in. So I decided to, you know, <sighs> not great, use a whiteboard. So like, I don't know, there you go. I, I don't know. Like, what I decided to do here is I took a 9x9, nine nine, okay? But I also overlaid it with a 9x9, nine nine, okay? And what I've done is I've pointed out where the 13s are because I'm, I'm interested about this N, okay? Remember that you start from here and you want to get to N. You start from this dot right here above the N, and you want to get to the middle of the matrix, or the 76 of this matrix, which when overlaid in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 relationship, you get some interesting things. And what I was able to do was basically look at this and say, here's your 3, makes 4, makes 5. And there's the M I'm talking about. So I'm like, hey, where's 6? Well, 6 would have to be the 1, 2, 3... No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the 6. I'm pretty sure of this. So, if this is your 6, because now, like, you're kind of sharing with everything. The 7th brings return. If I've learned anything from anything from Pink Floyd. Now the seventh would I think be the nine by nine, like the ninety-seven cells to make the heart field or something. But uh, what's left? Oh look, a three-four paradigm or a three-four shift. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I find that interesting. And three and four is seven. So all these things. So I was looking at the digits of pi. And like forgetting this four six. And the eights are very important. The eights are important, and everything up to the four six is very important. And I think I found a new way of deconstructing pi. So without any other further ado and whatnot, I will use my finger to point. All right, so we want to start here. We want to get to n. So this group of three that is not part of your daisy flower, as depicted over here, would be the three of pi. This one on the outside and this one on the outside of the dotted whateverness of the reciprocal of the path of energy that I never really derived, but I just took the reciprocal, would be your 3.1. And your 3.1 would be the first significant digits because I find a point to be very significant here. Okay? So your 3.1, now if we look at the middle of the matrix or time, in correlation with the ninth column of infinite of this matrix, this one is not used, this one is not used, this one is not used, this one is not used by the path of energy. Totaling 4. Now you have a 1 by 5 on the bottom for a 1, and then you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Kind of like a fly speck dotted with like, like a 5, but it's looked at a different way. And the reason I did this is because this is Nibiru, okay? This is going to be the 11th thing created Nibiru and the fifth, 33rd thing created Ganymede. And together they kind of make this seed pod of Nibiru that I like to talk about. So really, your 3.1415 is 3.11234 in the black circles. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Done. Now your 9 is basically here. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The circle is and the double asterisk is going to be your nine. 
okay? So basically what I showed you is when you leave here, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that dot. And your two is going to be your one, two. And your six is going to be your one, two, three, four, five, six. And your five is going to be your one, two, three, four, five. And your three is going to be your one, two, three at this dot. And your five is going to be your one, two, three, four, five at this dot. And your eight. Your eight's special. Your eight is special because what you're left with is just a one, two. But the value of the 69 is a 15, which is a six. So maybe that's your eight. But I think it's not that. I think like once you get to here, so the, the triple, so you go double hash, triple hash, four times hash. So double hash, triple hash, four times hash. Now, I think you don't end here. I think you actually end here. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because what happens? One, two, and we can't take the same path back. So let's go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're back here. So that's that eight. We've done all that so far. Eight isn't important. It kind of stops what's going on. You get back to here. Yeah, I don't know if you follow that, but from here to the circle is nine. From here to here is two. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have one, uh, two, three, four, five at the V. And then you're gonna have a three, which would be one, two, three. And then you're gonna have five, which is your, well, one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna have a one, two, three, let's just say, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, part of the seed eight. I, I think you gotta take a different path. I think, and look what's happening here. Look, you're creating an intersection here, an intersection here, intersection here. And with the middle of time, you're creating like a T. A T for time, another intersection. You know, you have one, two, three strikes, you're out. The only other, inter other intersection is going to be going from, when you go from the M, you're going to go to here, 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 and then you're going to go woozle wazzle here and here, and you're bound to intersect with the dirt, because this is the line here, and I'll show you why. Okay, so what I think happens again, is here you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you have 9, 7. Let's see what happens with 9, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're here again. <sighs> this guy right here. That's 76, that's X, that's seven, that's five. Five V one is your five to one V, okay? And what I did now is that if you want to create the day four, you have to get to the starting position for the complete the end of day four, okay? So we're not we're not ready like at the end of day three, we got like what sixteen here? Oh we didn't count this nine. That's why. <laughs> nine seven brings you here. Let's go nine from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's the center. That's the thirty-sixth thing creator. That's I.O. Then that's the end of day three. So you're going to be actually creating this. Okay. Yeah, nine. Nine's included here. That's the end of day three, 16 sig figs of pi. And we are at the center of where we wanted to go. Okay. Now the only thing, I wish I didn't suck as much, but the only thing other, okay, end of day four, so the next value is after pi for nine. So 897, it was 932, and then 38. 
And I find that interesting because 3, 2 is grouped together, 3 and 8 are not. And then if we go 3, 2, 3, 8, I see a 38, 50, 8. And so it's very interesting. But if you get to here, and then you have a great light to rule, oh, what is it? Like, uh, you got all the lights in the sky, great light to rule today, great light to do. This is Saturn. Saturn's always been here. Saturn is like the pathway to create all of this with pi. That dot Saturn. Anyways, you got all lights in the sky, all the galaxies and all the other universe, cellular energy devices ever created. You got great light to rule the day, Jupiter, great light to rule the night, Saturn, and the stars. But I think it also includes, I think it's Phobos, okay, because this is part of the 3 2. You'll go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So you're going to go up here, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, Two. Okay, and then you have a three eight. One, two, three. That's the end of day five for these luminaries. Day five luminaries are Demois, Mars, and the Sun. And eight. Another special eight. Okay? It's the other the other eight. Uh, I closed it. The other eight of Pi. No, it's worth it. The final eight. Remember, there's like a triple eight I'm talking about? Ugh. Right here. The last eight of pi. So where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the middle. Okay. Now, the only other thing... What I need to find is my caps and my marker doesn't dry out. Oh, come on, really? Is this right here? It's like the inverse of this. Kind of. You're kind of coming into it like this. Probably bulbously going out and around, but you're including, and unless you're not including this. If you're not including uh, Demoy, and a moon of Mars. So that's Phobos and Demoy. That's Mars and that's the sun. That's the sun and that's the moon. This over here is Venus, Mercury, and the moon. Okay? Beasts, insects, and cattle. Fowl, aqualife. These two aren't really counted. And I think they get split. Because this one's part of the two and this one is part of the three but whatever right doesn't matter i just you know found an interesting way of representing pi again now what if i were to take another matrix like this one like the blue matrix the black dots and then invert it to make this go the other way and fit it in here and draw a whole other matrix here to deal with this Okay, it's interesting because, again, the double cross, okay? You're making a cross here. You're making a cross here and a cross here. There's your double cross. Okay? So it's interesting. You're going from here. One, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'd say. Yeah, these seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are all needed to kind of make the double cross. So that means one, two, three, four. And here are the 28. Okay, the 28 here is, what is it? Uh, besides the 76. It's the 40th thing created. The stars. That are not the 88 fixed rotation. No, these are the 88 fixed rotating constellations. Hey, the 88. The 88, the 8, and the 8 of pi. The 88 fixed rotating constellations. Wow. That's what that is. 2, 8. It's this value of 28, guys. It's 28. It's 88. It's the value of 28. It's the stars. It's the 88 fixed rotating constellations. All the other universes and galaxies. We like to rule the day Jupiter. We like to rule the night Saturn and those stars. 88. It's the 88. It's the uh, two eights that appear in the first 20 significant figures of pi. If you include the dot as a significant figure. Anyway, thought I'd share something.
Smart.